Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Irene. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. I'm always amazed at the new things that keep discovering through sequencing. Every month there seems to be something we never knew about. And what you don't know can hurt you. You're right. A good example is the ultra-small bacteria they recently discovered. It's a pretty simple experiment. They started off with acetate-enriched groundwater passed through a 0.2 micron filter to remove normal-sized bacteria. They then sequenced whatever passed through the filter. And they found bacteria with genomes between 0.8 and 1 megabases long. To confirm these were actually bacteria, they used scanning transmission electron microscopy. The mean diameter of the microbes were about 250 nanometers long. That is very close to the minimum expected size for life. To appreciate how small they really are, here is an example of E. coli. And here, is an example of one of those little microbes. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and how does that compare to mammalian cells? Well, this would be a mammalian cell. How did they know these were bacteria, not viruses? You know, that's a really good question. Uh, the microbes actually have ribosomes and a bacterial cell wall. But there is still a lot that we really don't know about them. For example, how can they survive with such a minimal genome? That is very close to the lower limit of life for bacteria, but viruses can get much smaller. That reminds me, a recent paper demonstrated a new DNA cyclovirus with a genome of only 1,710 bases. The novel cyclovirus and gemicircular vir virus were discovered by deep sequencing of the cerebral spinal fluids from 62 Sri Lankan patients with unexplained encephalitis. There are closely related genomes found in feces from unexplained cases of diarrhea from Nicaragua and Brazil, and in untreated sewage from Nepal. Of course, that does not prove the virus caused those diseases, and much more work needs to be done to demonstrate its life cycle, pathogenicity, and all of those things. But it's another great example of what we can discover with deep sequencing. But that's all for today. We'd love to hear your thoughts about our show and topics you'd like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to pass along this exciting research. Till next time, bye. Bye.